Cassidy and I am back with part four of the pomegranates. Now in this part we are going to be doing quite a few things but I want to be more focused on Scarlet and Pilar I think because I think Scarlet definitely needs an easel. That is what has been lurking in the comments. People have been saying you need to get Scarlet an easel because she needs to do some artwork. I mean she does like art so why not? So we'll do that in this part. We'll be doing some other things as well. But the party's finished, so the last part was all about the party and there was a humongous house party and everybody's left now, so I think this is pretty much the aftermath of it where everybody is absolutely shattered. Jane really needs to sleep, Pilar is already in bed and Scarlett is in bed too. So I'm gonna fast forward it a little bit. We don't have school for a little bit. So both Jane and Scarlett have class in nine hours. Okay, so we've got some time, that's good. So I wanna get them up a little bit. This goes so quickly when everybody's asleep. Let's just see what's going on here. That's nice, all nice. So it's morning now, that timer goes so, so quickly, it's unreasonable. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is we will just make sure that before they get to school, so Jane's got school in three hours, she's already filled, her energy bar is full. So I think that she'll probably be having some of this food from last night. That is absolutely disgusting, but hey, we like to recycle in this house and this food was made by Arthur Angel. So it must be good. <laughs> he spent most of his time and effort into the kitchen last night, if you would remember. I mean, if you saw the party bit, Arthur Angel, bless his heart, was cooking most of the night. We already need to hire a repair service. Looks like Arthur Angel got frustrated and broke the fridge on his way out. I'm guessing that's what happened. I mean, I don't exactly know, but that's what I'd say. None of this food is smelling as well. So let's see where that housekeeper's up to. Oh, we have class in two hours. Jane's feeling uncomfortable. She's gonna eat some yogurt. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So we have a technician coming round at 6.32. They come so quickly. Honestly, I wish services really did come that quickly in real life because I've had some services before. I mean, when I needed my dishwasher fixed, they took about a week to arrive. It was really, really crazy. Same with my washing machine. That took a very long process. Turns out it was installed wrong by the people that installed it in the first place, so. Yeah, that, that was pretty bad. Anyway, so Pilar needs to eat. So I actually want her to start cleaning this stuff up. Doesn't he just look like a repairman? He looks like the kind of repairman that would come around in real life. He looks so realistic as well. That is just the sort of generic repairman that would arrive at my house. I'm not even joking. Every single repairman I have ever had has pretty much looked like that. Ginger beard included as well. So I want Pilar to serve some breakfast. I probably want her to serve some pancakes. I'm guessing that's quite a nice breakfast. I don't think she'd be eating cake or maybe she's feeling so incredibly uncomfortable from the party last night. I mean, just look at all that mess on the table. That looks awful. Scott looks so upset about the whole thing as well. <laughs> she's probably just gonna have an argument with Jane because they're not actually that close. They fight a lot. And sometimes it's just difficult for those two to be around each other. So. Maybe that's the reason. But anyway, so Jane needs to go to class in 40 minutes. Same with Scarlett, but I just wanna make sure that she's done everything before she goes. So I do want her to just kind of drop this cake. I wish they didn't eat cake for breakfast. I hope there's a way that I can stop that in the future. And I think that Pilar would be cleaning up some of this stuff. She'd have to. She would have to clean some of this up. I thought we had a maid. I really, really thought we did, but we might not. We might not actually have a maid, I don't know. Maybe the maid's too lazy to even turn up to work because I think that does actually happen in The Sims 4. I think that sometimes that kind of stuff can happen. Why doesn't Jane do something fun like, uh, programming's not fun. Play games, play Blick Block, that looks pretty good. For 10 minutes, I mean, 10 minutes of fun, that should be enough for anybody. I think that that should go up more than it is doing. Personally, I don't think she should be feeling uncomfortable. Unpleasant surroundings. It's not that unpleasant. Come on, get a grip. Pilar's trying her best, bless her heart. I really like her hair like that though. I think it suits her a lot more. I really like it. So I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks. So she's just collecting all those plates. I think they're actually from the guests that were there from the night before. 
So Jane is going to stop playing Blick Block and she's going to go out. Oh, that was pretty good. So she's she's filled with fun now. That's fantastic. And Pilar doesn't have work for two days. I swear, like, Pilar never works. She never goes to work. She is some kind of, like, master skiver who just doesn't need to go to work. I want Scarlett to try hard at school, so I'm going to put Scarlett as a study hard person i don't know i think that would be good for scarlet to do some really hard work intense work at school and then come back all refreshed later and ready to do some artwork pilar i'm gonna fast forward time for a little bit jane needs to go to school stop skiving go to school she's so bad like she was purposefully trying to procrastinate and trying not to go so i'm glad that she's finally gone and she's all dressed ready to go so this is Pilar just cooking in the kitchen. Not much more really to Pilar at the moment. I just want her to get some food sorted and then maybe she can invite around one of her friends, whether it be Angel or Dylan. I think it's probably Dylan because he's more of a friend than Angel Arthur is. I keep calling him Angel. His name's actually Arthur. I need to get that right. <laughs> but I think, I think that their friendship is non-existent to be quite honest but i'd still like to invite him around at some point and maybe she can get to know him i think he's pretty skilled in stuff from what i can remember when i uploaded arthur from sims 4 gallery oh, i remember him yeah. being very very skilled in pretty much everything so not sure how skilled and in what but i can remember that he had a lot of skills available i'm not sure though so she's feeling all refreshed because she's had a lot of food. So I'm gonna get her to clean that up really quickly, fast forward some time. And then I want her to ask Dylan out somewhere. Maybe they can go to the park or somewhere because they're friends. I mean, it's not exactly out of the ordinary to do so. Who's he? Who is this guy? And why is he here in our kitchen? Oh, he's the maid. Oh, <laughs> Pilar doesn't know about the maid yet. Well, that's a bit awkward. That is a bit awkward. So this random guy has come into the house and, oh, just in time, we've got to go out. So maybe Pilar didn't even notice him. Maybe she just ignored the fact that he was there. I'm not sure. But anyway, so where shall we go? Shall we go to uh, the park down here? Maybe Hair Square. I think it's quite a nice place. Oh no, because that's actually where children go. I remember now. Maybe Disco Tech Panorapa, wherever that is. Wherever it is, we've got to get the plane there, so it must be quite far away. But either way, we're going to go there with him, see how that all pans out, and see if Pilar can have quite a nice time with Dylan today. Because they got to know each other in the last part, and I don't think they are romantically involved or anything, but he looks like quite a nice friend for Pilar, even though he is a non-committal. I think that she would definitely, definitely try to speak to him because I think that he's Pilar's type, to be quite honest. I think he's pretty much anybody's type. He is gorgeous, but to be honest, he's not wearing a lot, which is a major concern for me. And it's definitely a concern for Pilar as well, because I think that Pilar would definitely be trying to find somebody that is a good example to her children, but I don't think that he really does fit that category. I'm not sure. Maybe she would exchange numbers with him and she would try to do that. I am just not sure how he would react to that. Maybe he'd be okay as long as it's not anything too serious. But I think that she would still try with him because they definitely have some kind of instant connection. I mean, they get on so well. They became friends almost instantly, which is very strange actually. Most Sims don't do that. But I think for these two, they might have some chemistry here. I hope he's not walking away. Oh, she's feeling pretty confident. And he took that rather well. So maybe we should flirt. Maybe Pilar would flirt. Somebody else has showed up now. <laughs> she's probably warning Pilar about how much of a non-committal this guy is. Maybe he's messed her around in the past as well. She's feeling pretty miserable about the whole situation. I don't know. Maybe she was actually a side girl. Is that what it's called? Like, when you're on the side of a relationship, you're like the mistress. I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Anyway, maybe she's feeling pretty sad because she has seen Pilar with Dylan. And maybe they had a thing together. I'm not sure, but Pilar's starting to feel pretty uncomfortable because she needs to go to the toilet. Which I'm pretty sure she did before she went. But either way, let's just go to the loo really, really quickly. Oh, she's going to pee like a champion as well. Fantastic. Because she's feeling confident, I think, or uncomfortable. I wonder what it is when you feel uncomfortable. Not pee like a champion, probably. I don't know. 
Either way, I want her to go downstairs really, really quickly. Everybody always follows us to the toilet when we do this. Missing family? They've only been gone for a couple of hours, Pilar. Are you kidding? She's such a good mum though. I think she's such a fantastic person as well. She is definitely one of my favourite sims in the whole game. So this is where all the young people hang out. Look at them. There are so many young people here. <laughs> Compared to what I've seen before, this is where all the teens must go, the young adults and stuff. So I think at some point I'll probably be redoing this club and I'll be doing something maybe a little bit nicer. I'm not sure. I wanted to have a cheerful introduction with Roderick as well. Maybe Roderick would cheer her up because they can talk about a lot of things that they have in common. They do, they have a lot of things in common together. For instance, Roderick's son is Tommy Davoli, strangely. So maybe, oh, oh, we've got some goals to do. I completely forgot about these. So we've got some, apparently, oh, apparently we're actually on a date. I did not know that. I thought we just invited him out. Oh, well. <laughs> This got super serious and quickly. I was just gonna go and get Pilar to talk to Roderick and maybe ask him to hang out and talk about their children, but obviously not. So we actually need to pay full attention to this date and we need to do some romantic interactions. So we need them to be flirty. Maybe she can try to flirt. Gosh, how similar do these guys look? Oh my gosh. They are identical. They are absolutely identical. And you're telling me that they're not brothers. They are definitely brothers. Tell you what, somebody is not telling these two guys something. Because whether it's the mum or the dad that's the same, these are definitely brothers. They're not actually brothers in The Sims 4, they should be. I'm probably gonna make them brothers at some point. But anyway, so I want her to share a secret with Dylan. I also want her to be romantic, gloomy compliments. Oh gosh, these guys are off school, really? That's pretty bad. I actually want to keep him there because I don't think that Jane knows him. I think he was one of the people that we lost contact with, unfortunately. So maybe I'll bring Jane here after school. I'm not sure. I want her to be flirty with him, though. So Pilar is going to flirt with Dylan. So he's taking it rather well. And I think that their romantic interactions are going pretty well together. But I think Pilar would be very, very worried about the fact that she would definitely be thinking, is he a good example to my children? I want him to be, and she would be romantic with him, but she would also be quite reserved about the whole situation. Like she wouldn't jump into a relationship straight away. Oh dear, oh no, he is not taking that very well. I think it's because, oh, yeah, I think it's because he's a non-committal and I think because Pilar feels like she needs to find out these things, she needs to feel, she needs to find out how he would feel about a family and things like that, she would really need to jump ahead of the situation and she would have to ask him straight off, what do you think about children, what do you think about marriage, what do you think about this, that, because she would be forward but he's not forward. He's feeling pretty happy though, so he must still like her even though he is a non-committer. So it's pretty awkward having Jane here on Pilar's date. I wish there was a restaurant that they could go to, but I don't know. Maybe we will do that at some point. I really hope we'll be able to have restaurants. I want her to speak to uh, this guy over here, Braxton Spears, because he's one of the people that we lost contact with and I couldn't find him in the last part, so I'm pretty happy that he's here. At least so they can speak to each other, but he looks a bit ill. Is he ill? I think he's actually a little bit ill. No, he's not ill, he's fine. He's absolutely fine. I wanted to speak to him though. I don't want her to invite Tommy over straight away because even though they do have some romance together, I don't think she would spend her whole life thinking about Tommy. She would want to really make friends and I think that she'd be interested in hanging out with different people. So I want her to do that. I want her to give this guy a heartfelt compliment, compliment his outfit. Um, maybe just have a funny conversation. I don't think it would be anything too serious, but I still want to make sure that if we need to invite him out somewhere, then we can. And it's not gonna be really super awkward if we don't know him or if he's just an acquaintance. Going back to Pilar though, I want Pilar to try and flirt with him again. It is a date for goodness sake. I do want him to be a little bit flirty with her as well. Oh no. Oh no, it's not going very well, is it? Maybe it's just because he does find her a little bit too much of a committer. I want her to apologize though. I think she needs to give him a smooth recovery. I don't know, maybe we'll go back to that at some point. 
I want to invite some people over. I actually want Jane to invite Jessica more Trey out, mainly because I think that they'd be very good friends if they got to know each other, and I think that Jane would want to get to know Jessica, especially as they had quite a nice conversation at the party, even though it wasn't for that long. So maybe she would just do that. Maybe she'd just say, do you want to come and hang out? gonna try and get some people here and try to invite a lot of different people maybe she'd invite Tommy out now seeing as there's already a jock here it would make sense if a lot of people came out she doesn't like Carissa though I'm not sure why uh let's see who else can come out maybe Toby maybe Joel I think I already invited Joel out not too sure though Pilar's day is going absolutely terribly so maybe she needs to apologize to this guy where is he he's already hiding <laughs> He's hiding between these women. He's like, save me from Pilar. I just feel like she's just so advanced. She's just trying to ask me too many questions and stuff and it's scaring me. But I do want Pilar to apologize to him. I'm not sure how she's gonna do it, but maybe we can do that. I don't know if they can do it. Maybe she should just flatter him. I guess that would be what this would be about. Oh, awkward encounter. This is so awkward. Oh, just friends. Oh dear. That's not good. He's an eSport gamer. That's pretty cool though. That is a really cool career. Some people are turning up now. So let's see who's turning up. We have Jessica Moutre. She's turning up. And I think some others are probably on their way as well. But they'll be probably here in a bit. Oh, Toby Anderson. Hey, Jane. It's me, Toby. Do you want to go on a date? Ooh, a date with Toby. Do we do it? I don't know because she kind of has a thing with Tommy. But then again, it's not so serious yet. And I want Jane to be able to be friends with lots of different people. So maybe we would. Oh my gosh, but we've just invited everybody else there. That is really, really crazy that we invited Toby there and he's pretty much just turned around and said, nope. I don't want other people there. I want to take you on a date myself. So that is pretty interesting. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Hoping it's going to go pretty well. But I mean, we were just flirting with Tommy in the last part. So I don't know. Ask to hang out with Toby, of course. We'd already be hanging out at this point. I don't know. But Jane, oh gosh, she stinks. Oh my goodness. This is terrible. This is really, really bad. Because Jane smells and this is not a good way to start the date <laughs> love how roderick follows us every single place we go roderick devoli is always not far behind us that happens all the time he has been a major stalker throughout this let's play he is constantly here every single time we go somewhere new he's there at the bar which is a little bit unusual maybe we could ask about his day oh right well that was a really short date <laughs> That was the shortest date Jane has ever been on and probably will ever be on. That was insane. Maybe we should travel home though. In fact, that's a pretty good idea. I feel kind of bad because I feel like it would be a nice idea if we did go out with Jessica Mortre. Not sure where Scarlett is, but I kind of, kind of want to take these three back to the house and I want Jane to find a friend and find a good friend, like a best friend maybe in Jessica Moore She did decide to come out to the club and I think that it would be quite nice if we invited her around and maybe they could get to know each other because I want Jane to have a best friend. Maybe not be so involved with the fakes this time in this part. Maybe in the next one, we will involve them a little bit, but I would actually like her to be friends with Jessica Moore more than anything. So I think that that would be quite nice. She'd give her a heartfelt compliment and they would brighten each other's days. She would tell her a funny story, gossip probably. She's feeling pretty uncomfortable though. But anyway, I do want her to maybe even be a little bit more friendly with her because that would definitely help things. I think that I do want her to go on a date with Tommy. Maybe Toby was the wrong choice completely. Maybe that was failure on my part. <laughs> Not sure though. But I think that for Jane, Jane definitely needs to shower at the moment. So I want her to do that. Also want her to get some food out. So I want her to have some food. Not sure where that would be. Maybe she would have some dinner, mac and cheese. You know, garden salad would be a good choice. That's nice. So for Scarlett, I want Scarlett to get an easel, 
which is going to be something that she will be learning about and it's something that she can really get involved with because it means that she can build some skills which is very important for her. Being a child as well, I want her to have a really, really bright future. So I think that this kind of stuff would be amazing. So I like that idea a lot. Want to get rid of some of these entertainment things that we got, especially for the party. Maybe I'd leave that entertainment stand there. Actually, no, maybe I'd just get rid of it. Just kind of easier to have it like that. So we've got the art easel over there, which is quite a nice idea, which means that she can actually start painting and we can do that, hopefully. Can we do that? I hope that we can do that. Maybe if we move it slightly this way, then we can. No, apparently, apparently Scarlett can't do that. Maybe she needs a children's table, that would make sense. So if we went to the children's option, we went to kids, uh, hobbies, yeah. She needs a creative arts table, which would make sense if it was outside anyway, because I think Pilar would be pretty strict with having like paints and stuff in the house. So maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. So I kind of wanted to go outside and do some artwork because that would be quite nice. Maybe eventually I'll expand her bedroom so that she can do some nice activities in that. Maybe Pilar would send a sorry text to Dylan because she'd be feeling pretty bad about how their date went. She'd be feeling pretty bad about how she was very forward on the date and she was probably a little bit out of character to do that and she was probably just being a bit overprotective of her family trying to ask too many questions and be too over overly excited about the whole date which is kind of a no-go anyway because you definitely don't want to do that on a first date like you don't want to jump in too super overexcited because it always fails at least it's always failed for me in the past anyway so i wanted to watch some college crown with jessica pretty cool this is like a 90210 sim style i think i don't i don't know but i'm not sure but and that's pretty good she'd eat some garden salad while she's doing that so that's quite nice that she can do that as well but i do actually want her to become friends with jessica i want them to be good friends as well i think that jessica is definitely a good friend for jane to have mainly because they have a lot of stuff in common and also i think that she doesn't really fit in with the gothic nightmares whereas the fakes friendship group is very clicky and there's a lot of stuff that goes on there and she would really need to be friends with all of them not just one of them in that group i think that for the gothic nightmares it's a very strange group in the way that there are lots of different characters in that group and i think that jessica is one of these characters that would maybe be a good friend for jane because i think I think in a way I do feel a little bit sorry for Jessica because I don't think that what I've explained is the fact that Jessica actually lives on an abandoned building site with the other gothic nightmares. They are homeless, they are all runaways and they don't have anywhere to live so that's a pretty strange thing to happen of course but that's what they are so they all kind of exist together but I think that Jessica would definitely be grateful of a friend that's a little bit more normal than the other gothic nightmares in the way that she has a really perfect family and maybe she'd be a little bit jealous of that but I think that she'd still try and get to know Jane as much as she possibly can so I think that that's quite nice and maybe we can go and see the abandoned building site at some point chat about actors what are these interactions I have never seen anything like this. Declare favourite movie selection. Oh, I don't know what's going on. It's just going it's going too fast for me. Pilar's upstairs. Pilar is hungry and she needs to go to the shower. She needs to go and visit the shower for some time there. Now what's what's Scarlett doing? Scarlett was almost finished, but she's she's really, really tired. So I think that for her. She needs to go to bed. Jane has declared comedy movies to be her favourite genre. When she watches a comedy flick, she is more likely to enjoy the movie. That's really nice. But I think what I'll do is I'm going to leave this episode there. And in the next part, we are going to be exploring the building site where the gothic nightmares live. We're probably going to be meeting up with Tommy as it is going to be Valentine's Day for Jane. And I think that it would be really nice if those two went out on a proper date to a really nice park. So that's what we're doing in the next part. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you for part five. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.